I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve inequality involving rational functions. The question here is solve that 2 is less than equal to 2 over 3 minus x which is less than 3. So the rational function 2 over 3 minus x is between 2 and 3. We need to solve means find the values of x for which this inequality is true. Now let us look at the diagram that is let us sketch the function 2 over 3 minus x approximately just to understand how the solution should look like right. So what we have here is 3 minus x that means denominator is going to be 0 for x equals to 3 a vertical asymptote at x equals to 3 is that okay. So we are expecting vertical asymptote at x equals to 3. Now if x is very large in that case the value of 2 over 3 minus x is going to be what? It's going to be 0 right. So it is going to be 0 that means we could write for a very large value you can test it if I write 1000 then 2 divided by 1000 is going to be 0 right so it is going to be 0 so x axis becomes the horizontal asymptote in this particular case now to sketch the graph if I write x as 1000 we get a negative number so we are approaching from the negative side you can take some of the test values and then you'll figure out that this graph is kind of like this the best value to take here is since the vertical asymptote is at 3 take a value 1 more right so at 4 so 4 it will be uh, 2 over 1 which this will be minus 2 right so that is kind of a point similarly you can do the left side of the vertical asymptote it will kind of look like this you can find this point by placing x equals to 0. So if x is 0, so we get 2 over 3 as this particular point, right? So anyway, so that is approximately uh, the graph for us. Now when we say that this function should be between 2 and 3, so let us assume that this is 2 for us and this is 3 for us, right? So, so what we are saying here is that let this be 2 and let this be 3. Then the part of the graph which is in between these two is the part of solution. So wherever it is 2, that point is included, that point is included, and wherever it is 3, it is not included. So that's just not filled in square. So this is the solution we need to find. Do you understand? So that is what we're trying to find. Okay. Now let us try to solve. This is just to give you an idea. Okay. So that is what it is. Now, to solve this, we need to multiply by 3 minus x in, right? So this is what we need to do. Uh, now, if I multiply by 3 minus x, then we are not sure whether 3 minus x is going to be positive or negative. So, so we are not sure how to change these signs, correct? To take care of this ambiguity, we can think about another option and that is to say 2 over 3 minus x is between 2 and 3 is positive, is positive, is it okay? Since 2 over 3 minus x is positive, this implies that 3 minus x is also positive, is it okay? Only then 2 over 3 minus x will be positive. Positive means 3 minus x is. So this means that 3 minus x is greater than 0. Or you can say this means that uh, 3 is less. I mean 3 is greater than x or x is less than 3. So as you can clearly see this line here is x equals to 3. We are looking for values which are less than 3, correct? So we will solve when x is less than 3. 
Now if x is less than 3, this is positive. Is it okay? So now we can multiply by 3 minus x. So let us multiply all sides by 3 minus x. We are assuming that x is less than 3, okay? So that means this 3 minus x is positive, right? Therefore, we do not change the sign. Now, this is very important to understand and explain when you solve this question. So, what we have here is 2 times 3 minus x is less than or equals to 2, which is less than 3 times 3 minus x. Correct? So, so that is how you can actually split this inequality as kind of a combination of two linear inequalities. Right? Now, now we can solve it in two different parts, left side and right side, and take the solutions which are common to both. Is that okay? So we'll solve it as two different linear inequalities. First on the left side, let me draw like this, the inequality which is 2 times 3 minus x less than 2. Let me expand this which is 6 minus 2x is less than or equal to 2. I got to divide by 2 also. Anyway, and here we'll solve that 2 is less than 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3 times minus x 3x. Is it okay? So these are the two inequalities which we are trying to solve now. Let's find the value of x. So when you solve, let's take this minus 2x to the right side, 2 on this side. So we get 6 minus 2 is less than or equals to 2x. 6 minus 2 is 4, right? So x is greater than or equals to 4 over 2, or x is greater than or equals to 2. So that is the solution, one of the solutions which we get. On the right side, let me bring 3x to this side, and then that is less than 9 minus 2, right? So, so we have 3x is less than 9 minus 2 is 7, or x is less than 7 divided by 3, right? On a number line, I can show this solution as follows. So we have two solutions. Let us say this is 0 for us. In that case, one solution is x is less than 2. The other one is x is less than 7 over 3. You can write this in kind of decimals as x is less than 3 times 2 is 6, then we get 3 recurring, right? 2.33. So that is that is what uh, you get. So so x is less than equal to 2, and rather I should say I should rewrite this where we are saying x is greater than or equal to 2 and x is less than 2.33. So that is what we have. So the solution will be whatever is common between the two. So let us find common interval. So for the first one, it is greater than 2. So let us say this is this is 0 and this is, let us say this is 2 for us, okay. In that case, this is included. So it is including 2 and on the right side. This is one solution, is that okay. The other solution for us is when x is less than 2.3 and let's say this is 2.3 for us and it is less than 2.3. So, so this is 2.3, right? And the first point is 2 for us. Clearly, the interval between the two is our solution. So we can now write down the solution or the answer as the interval between two where so x is greater than equal to two this is included however 2.3 is not included so that becomes the solution right so this point is identified as two and here we have 2.3 so that is the solution this is the method to solve such a rational inequality i hope that helps thank you and all the best